guys it's Michaela welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be reacting to your guys's unpopular opinions about marine biology I asked you guys on my Instagram to send in your unpopular opinions if you wish to be a part of any videos like this I do in the future make sure to follow my Instagram I post it on my photography Instagram so make sure to give that a follow it's in the description box and it's always at the end of my videos so I hope you guys enjoy and let's dive in the first unpopular opinion is inverts are better than verts, so or invertebrates are better than vertebrates. So this is something I disagree on completely. I am a fan of vertebrates. Obviously I'm studying marine mammals which are vertebrates, so I have to disagree with you on this. Invertebrates are cool, but vertebrates are better. The next submission I got is not an opinion, it's actually a question that I've gotten a lot so I figured I would answer, and it is, are orcas whales or dolphins? This is a great question because I didn't know for the longest time. Orcas are actually both, they are a toothed whale and they are the largest dolphin species. It's kind of like all dolphins are whales, but not all whales are dolphins. All dolphins are an odontocete, which is a toothed whale, but not all whales are dolphins because mysticetes obviously don't have teeth, so they are not considered a toothed whale. They are considered mysticetes with baleen. The next unpopular opinion is bottlenose dolphins are creepy looking. I have to disagree. Bottlenoses are so cute. They are so playful. Their personalities are unmatched. Well, except Pacific white sided dolphins, they're kind of neck and neck in my opinion, but I don't know why people would think dolphins are kind of creepy looking. I guess when they open their mouth, their teeth are kind of intimidating, but I don't think creepy would be the word that I would use. The next unpopular opinion is kind of long, so I'm going to read it off my phone, but it says, Fishing should not be used as a form of food because of the bycatch slash commercial fishing industry being detrimental to the natural marine ecosystems and because they have so much level of mercury content and it's not worth the health problems. So I personally choose to not eat seafood. I don't think it's right to eat what you study. So I know this is very controversial because people are going to be like, well, why don't you eat seafood, but you eat cows and chickens? I'm not going to get into that. If you guys want a video about that, let me know why I have those beliefs. But I have to disagree, even though I personally don't choose to eat seafood, I believe it can be sustainably done. A lot of fishing is done unsustainably. Look at what's happening with the southern resident orcas up in Washington with their salmon population. But I believe if it's done right, fishing should be allowed. Now, as far as the mercury intake, I don't know too much about it. All I know about mercury intake is dolphins have a huge amount of mercury. So during the Taiji dolphin drive, a lot of people get sick with mercury poisoning or mercury toxins because the Japanese people are eating so much whale and dolphin. However, with fish, again, not too familiar. Fish are not my forte, but I would assume they do have some level of mercury. But everything in moderation, you can't avoid everything. The cows and chickens that we eat every day are packed with hormones and unhealthy things too. So like I said, everything in moderation because you can't avoid bad stuff or pollutants. It's just inevitable because of how polluted our environment already is. Unpopular opinion numero, I guess it could be either three or four, but it is coral is the most interesting field to study. So I would have to disagree because I think marine mammals is the most interesting field to study, hence why I am studying it. But I think coral is an amazing research field because there's so much we don't know. Coral bleaching is something that we are just now getting research done and learning about, especially because of sunscreens. I have a video coming within the next month or two about coral bleaching. I'm doing research about it and I want to make a video about reef safe sunscreens because not a lot of people knew about it before and when I tried to do research I didn't find anything on YouTube so I want to give you guys that information right at your fingertips but I believe coral is an amazing and interesting field just not the most interesting. Number five is marine mammals are boring. I heard this from a lot of my classmates in my marine mammals class last semester in fall 2019 and I couldn't wrap my head around it but one of my good friends from my class told me she thinks dolphins and whales are boring and she loves learning about plankton. So it is 
totally dependent on what you find is interesting, but the fact that you blatantly said marine mammals are boring hurt my heart just a little bit. Number six is I support cetacean captivity. So you have to be extremely careful about cetacean captivity because Disney has dolphins, SeaWorld has dolphins, and just, I know they said cetacean captivity, but I'm gonna talk about marine mammal captivity. The aquarium I volunteer at has sea lions. You have to think whether you wanna support entire marine mammal captivity, or you wanna support pinniped captivity, or you wanna support otter captivity. There's so many levels of marine mammal captivity. But cetacean captivity, I don't support when they are exploited in shows. The Disney World Epcot Dolphin exhibit, I saw it in January, I was not impressed. They did have the dolphin by itself, I don't know if they only had one on exhibit or if they had one off of exhibit or they just had just one solitary dolphin, which I did not agree with. Dolphins are very social animals and they need to have pairs, they need to be in a social gathering but I don't think it's the worst that they could do because they aren't exploiting the dolphin. The dolphin is just swimming around, doing what it wants to do, and it's not doing flips and tricks to entertain humans. It's still on display, so people could argue it is exploitation, but I think Disney is doing a lot better than what SeaWorld does. So in a way, I agree with you, but in another way I disagree, if that makes sense. Number seven is marine biology is an easy major. When I read this, I was like, dude, I freaking wish. The person who submitted this to me, I want to just talk to you because you must be a genius. Everyone I know who studies marine biology, like my classmates and people who I volunteer with, say it is the hardest major that they have ever done and the hardest classes they have ever taken. I agree. I suck at math, suck at chemistry, and that's basically all what marine biology entails. So for anyone who thinks it's easy, can you please tutor me because I'm struggling. Number eight is working in a captive slash aquarium setting is better than working in the wild. This again totally depends on what you want to do for your career. Personally, I have to disagree. I love volunteering at my aquarium. I would do it for the rest of my life even when I do have my career, but personally for me, my dream job is killer whale research on the wild orcas of California, so can't really do that in captivity, but if you want to work in a captive setting, good for you, that's on you. Both are amazing jobs and both open the door to multiple, multiple research opportunities. Unpopular opinion number nine is orcas are the best. I have to agree with you, I love orcas, they are my favorite animal of all all time and I have been for like the past decade that's hence why my career is wrapped up around them but anyone who doesn't agree I really want to have a talk what do you think is the best animal of all time let me know in the comments down below the last unpopular opinion I will be reacting to today is there is no such thing as shark infested waters Thank you! Someone finally said it! I have been telling people this for so, so long. This TikToker who does marine biology videos was talking about shark infested waters and I commented, I was like, hey dude, like love your videos, but there's no such thing as shark infested waters. They live there. If anything, we are invading their home. It's the same with where I live. Where I live, there is a lot of wildlife back in the hills. So my house is like literally a mile or two away from mountain lion country. We have mountain lions, bobcats, coyotes, deer. Orange County is very rich in wildlife species, but as we keep building and building and building, we're pushing those animals farther and farther away. People are shocked and disturbed when a mountain lion is walking their neighborhood or a coyote is digging in their trash, or a bobcat is walking through their neighborhood. They aren't invading our neighborhood, we invaded theirs, and it's the exact same thing with shark infested waters. You know the risk of when you go swimming in the ocean. I know the risk, and quite frankly, I'm still scared of sharks. Most marine biologists will tell you that they're not afraid of sharks. I am, I am telling you straight up, I'm afraid of what's in our ocean, and I'm studying it. But I'm really glad someone 
put this as an unpopular opinion because I've been wanting to talk about it for a while. It's just not fair that sharks are labeled as man-eating animals that infest our waters. Number one, they're not our waters, they're the sharks' waters. Number two, they're not man-eating. I'm just really glad someone said this and I could talk about this for a whole video. Who knows? Maybe I will. We'll see. Those were all of the unpopular opinions I will be reacting to today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any more unpopular opinions that you want me to know, go ahead and put them in the comment section down below and I will respond to you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!